So good morning. As both of you know, my name is Clara. And today I'm going to talk about taxonomic classification of active galactic nuclei. This is a, sum a summary of my undergraduation thesis. So a lot of will be missing, but you can ask any question after the presentation. So, first of all, my motivations for this study is to get familiar with the longer survey in marketing, which I talked about in my seminar. Is to, it is to study the agent feedback process, analyze and classify agent sample, and associate with the phenomenal classifications with the feedback process. The method methodology I used was to get a sample of 62 agents observed by Langa survey, and I analyzed each of, of uh, those agents using Marvin. Uh, Marvin. We compared the stellar and the H alpha kinematics of each agent. And from the comparison, we created three, three categories. categories. Velocity field with regular pattern, velocity field with irregular pattern, velocity, and velocity fields with counter rotation, which I will show later in the next slide. Um, and also, we analyzed the big T diagram of each galaxy to classify the type of region. First of all, I'll, I'll explain two things that I'm talking about too much, uh, AGN and feedback. AGN is an extremely bright central region of a galaxy that is dominated by light emitted by dust and gas as it falls into the black hole. And the uh, AGN feedback is the self-regulating process which links the energy released by AGN to the surrounding gases medium, and in this way impacting the whole evolution of the most galaxy. That means um, how the AGN affects the whole galaxy. So about the, the classifications, the kinematic classifications. First, we have the velocity field with regular pattern. So I compared the stellar velocity uh, field and the h half velocity field. The regular pattern is just like you see, where there is redshift in the stellar velocity field, there is a redshift in the h half and the same for blue shift. The velocity field with counter rotation is the opposite. So where there is a blue shift in the other map, there, there is redshift and vice versa. And the velocity field with irregular pattern is kind of self-explanatory. Um, you can define exactly what uh, what's going on in the comparison between the stellar velocity and then chop velocity. They are the the velocity fields are irregular. The BPT diagrams. Uh, these are three examples I used to classify the, the type of the AGM. The first one, we can see that all the spaxos falls into the uh, safer, safer location in the big uh, T. So I classify the first galaxy as uh, safer. The second one, most of the central spaxos falls into the liner. So I classify this AGM as liner. In the third one, we can see the, that the central spaxos are all ambiguous. So I define the, the region as ambiguous because we cannot define a safe liner or star formation because we don't know the central spaxos, what they are. As a result, uh, I find the, that most of the galaxies are safe or liners, as you can show here. And the majority of the, the, the sample are, uh, are, uh, have regular pattern, pattern, as we expect, because uh, feedback in AGN is not as common as normal galaxies with no feedback process. Uh, we, can't, we cannot say that the 
the galaxies with irregular pattern or counter rotation have feedback, but you can see that the galaxy with regular pattern doesn't have feedback. So I need to study more to know if there, there's feedback or not in these galaxies, but you can say for sure that 65% does not have feedback. So the results are kind of inconclusive. That's all.